How many of you have had your photo taken in public, uploaded to Facebook, and then tagged to your profile without you even knowing it? Do you want your identity and location to be recorded without your knowledge? Cameras and sensors are everywhere. There's already a potential for your privacy to be violated if your photo is taken without your permission. And anyone can easily use image searches to try to identify who you are. Hell, my phone can even figure out who I am just by scanning in my face. But when you add metadata like location, time, and identity to an image, it's a slippery slope to go from photography to surveillance. Some argue that this problem is only going to get worse as augmented reality becomes even more popular with technology like Google Glass. But a Tokyo-based team at the National Institute of Informatics led by Isao Echizen may have a solution. They've developed a prototype for privacy visors that protect the users from their identity being compromised. To understand how this visor works, let's look at how technology recognizes our face in the first place. The NII is focusing on something called the Viola Jones method which detects rectangular features and figures out whether they're part of a face or not. It specifically associates the eyes and part of the nose as being dark and the other part of the nose as being light. Then it classifies your facial features as being either strong or weak for comparison in a database of identities. Currently, there are a few ways to try to confuse these facial recognition methods. Some people have taken to wearing makeup in odd patterns to try to fool a camera. Others have tried wearing something called a privacy shell, which kind of looks like a paper accordion mask. However, both of these make it difficult to communicate face-to-face -face with another person. That's where the privacy visor comes in. Here's how it works. The visor is fitted with 11 LEDs that shine near-infrared rays that confuse cameras. It confuses the Viola Jones method by making dark areas lighter and light areas darker. Because these lights are near-infrared, they can't be seen by the human eye, so they don't affect the visibility of the person wearing them. And you're not shining bright lights into the face of anyone you're talking to. There is one drawback. The visor only works on cameras that are sensitive to infrared light. So the team is working with materials that are either reflective or absorb light to try to fix this problem. How concerned are you about your privacy? Would you wear these glasses to protect your identity? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to click subscribe.